What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Maya's World and pretty much what this video was going to be about was Randy Moss. Now we were able to get him up to a 95 speed, uh, pretty much 49ers chem, uh, sprinter times two and um, you know that's what he is right there. He's pretty much the most unstoppable wide receiver in the game with those numbers. If you are able to get him to 50 49er players you will have him up to a 96 speed which I don't think anybody would ever want to play you in your life but before we get into the actual gameplay, many of you have been asking about the abilities and, you know, why don't I put certain things on my cards and, you know, a lot of different things that go into the elements of what makes Madden 20 work. And I just want to take the time for both my veterans and my newcomers to kind of explain. The way that I do it is, I try to look at it myself and try to figure out what I see that works against me and what would most likely work with the way the state of the game is, if that makes any sense. Like, put it like this. When you come out and you see somebody burn you deep for six, you know that that receiver probably has streak specialists, even though it has been toned down uh, visibly for me, like I seen it. When I first put it on my card back in August, you weren't staying with those cards. Like if you press Tyreek Hill back in, like when I first started making my videos in August, you, bro, straight smoked, smoked, you're gone. Now you got streak specialists, dudes is pressing you into the actual turf and depending on the attributes of your card, you may not be able to do anything. So what I'm actually doing right now is I'm trying to figure out what makes the most sense for me. Like, what should I do to kind of experiment and give you guys more feedback? Because it's easy for me to look at somebody else's abilities when I play against them and say, yeah, that works. But when I actually have an ability that I'm using myself, that's when I can thoroughly explain it to you guys like, yo, I feel that this works, I feel that this doesn't work, and then you guys give me the feedback and then we figure out what's going on. But what I chose to do was go with indoor baller because I want to minimize the amount of objectives that you know you actually have to do to get him to a superstar X factor in those domes. And for the most part, most people are playing domes because the outdoor stadiums sometimes are kind of weird with the wind and if it comes down to like a kick or something like that, it can end up going haywire. So for the most part, a lot of people do play in domes, but it, it's a luck of the draw. You know, depending on the kind of fan you are, you may play an outdoor stadium or whatever, but you take the chance every time. But I've been using that on a couple of players and it helps because if it just so happens you get into a game where it's gonna be a sweaty and you're actually home, now bam, you throw a couple passes, get him with that double meet, and then you just start mossing him uncontrollably. So pretty much right here, we're trying to finish off a perfect season. I don't know if we're going to get it done. If you guys think that we can, write we can in the comments, bro, because I'm going to keep playing for you guys and see what we could do. But that's uh, pretty much, you know, what's going on in this actual season. I kind of showed you guys what was going on. Obviously, um, if we're able to get to the Super Bowl, I'm going to definitely give you some gameplay for that if you guys would like it. You know what I'm saying? You want to see what happens. Pretty much, usually what happens is the first round of the playoffs, something wild happens to me and I end up losing by a field goal or some kind of stupidness. But we'll see what happens with this season. Now, getting into the gameplay as EA decides to load us up a game, I'm going to kind of give you guys some insight into what's about to happen. This dude that I'm going to go up against, the dude that I'm about to go up against, He's going to be, you know, he's going to come out and, you know, try to pretty much contain Randy once he sees that that's the only place that I'm trying to go. Because T.O. is pretty good, but we got T.O. up to a 93 speed. He's still not Moss, but he's so much better. Like, he will burn everybody except for Deion Sanders in the game, and that includes Darius Slay, who I burnt recently, like Toast. So, it, you know, all of these things that you add to the players, the one thing that I've noticed is that when you have a base card, EA has made it almost impossible to make those base cards do anything. You have to power them up and get them to the next level. And that's why I'm so happy to be able to show you guys what Randy Moss looks like right now. Because even if you guys are able to get him like this, it's still going to be far and few between. You got to really know what you're doing in order to you know, actually execute this, which is why I put it in the videos, how I do it, what I'm doing. And I try to make sure that you guys have insights so that you can create your own ideas and go out there and create your own kind of monster squad. I've already seen other people choosing other teams to get 25 players with to up, you know, update some of the other cards. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is, whatever floats your boat. I just feel for me, I have to be able to open up the passing game because it's nothing else that's going on. Like everybody feels that all you need to do is run the ball and know how to stop the run. And then if that's all you're doing, it starts to get a little boring. So that's why I chose to invest in Randy instead of going another route and investing in other players uh, along the run game. So you can see we're starting off pretty slow right here. This dude, right? Yo, the way that he did that block though. Yo, Corey is just so good, bro. Like that dude just blocked so well. But on that, I, I wanted to cut to the right and go inside, but this guy was just doing whatever he wanted. So you can see with the way that he's playing it, I don't really want to force it in the coverage 
because I don't know what this guy's gonna do. And also, I didn't pause the game to see exactly, you know, how powered up that Deion Sanders is. So I don't want to, you know, really want to get crazy with it and just start throwing it because Deion is gonna, they're gonna let Deion stay with Moss. Like, it's not gonna be an issue. Like, he's just gonna be running around right there next to him. So you gotta be very, very careful with that as well. All right, when you come out, depending on what you're doing, how you're trying to execute what you're doing, and you gotta play according to those lines. All right, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Wait, listen, that's the number one thing, like I keep telling you guys. Some of you guys are saying that the run game is OP, um, you know, it can't be stopped or whatever. You gotta apply yourself and figure out ways to stop the run. The biggest tip that I can tell you is that, okay, run it for six. Yeah, yeah, pick my mom's up, do her. You can have relations with her if you want. You, you fire! All right, bro, he just, he just took me off guard, bro, because the way he just zipped around Tillman, that just aggravated me. But anyway, like I was saying, you know, three, four odd is what I pretty much prefer. Uh, the dude trying to escape artist me, bro. He trying to, he, he ain't know they nerfed it though. He ain't know they nerfed it though. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just be running backwards. You can run forward though. If you want to be an absolute idiot, you can hike the ball and just run to the left or the right with escape artists. And even if they have a contain, you can still, you know, get a lot of yards off of it because that's the way that it was intended to go, uh, going forward, not running backwards. So if you see people running backwards, the computer will automatically follow them back forth, back and forth, back and forth, and tackle them since they, you know, toned it down. I guess this guy didn't realize that. He's just running back and forth like an idiot. And then obviously Von Miller took care of that. So, like I was saying, as we continue to do what we're doing, right here, we're going to try this out. We're going to, oh, 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 okay, for six. For six, though. Oh, okay, keep going then. Don't, don't worry about it. Let's go. For, go oh, come on, man. Bro, what are you doing, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing over there, Saquon? Like, run that thing. Run that. Oh, right here for six. For si okay. All right. Maybe not then. Right here for six? Can we go for six? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we out. We out. So pretty much what happened, like I said, because he kept following Randy Moss with Dion, I didn't really know which other way to go with it. So I didn't want to, you know, make it that kind of situation. So I had to do what I had to do in this case to make sure that I won the game because obviously it's the playoffs. So I can't just come out and just do whatever I want, just keep throwing it in the air. I had to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever he was giving me, I had to take it. And that's pretty much what was going on. So I knew for a fact, as long as I can stop this guy, I wasn't gonna have any issue. And I got it, bro, I'm on pins and needles because you guys like, yo, G Maya, you gotta get a Super Bowl. Many of you guys see me, you know, when I'm streaming on Twitch, dog, I go out into a game and I will play unbelievable, and a dude will just do me dirty. Like, it, it just, it is what it is. I guess it's just my time for you to do my mom's. Like, I don't know exactly what's happening, but it's really, really crazy. And, you know, oh, he's trying to, is he still running around with Bo Jackson, bro? He's trying to stiff arm me and truck me. I try to tell you guys, bro. The one thing I'll tell you about that, about Bo, though, um, in all honesty, that, that dude is wild, but he's not as wild as Jim Brown if you're trying to, like, stiff arm somebody into another galaxy. It's for some reason, every time I play against Jim Brown, okay, yeah, just stand in the pocket. Stand in the pocket, throw a heavy a heavy pressure, inaccurate pass, and dot me. And then after you're done, meet me in the locker room so I give you my mom's cell number. Like, why are you standing there about to get sacked by everybody and then you just throw it? It says inaccurate. That's what kills, like, why are you putting that in there? But it doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. The Madden gods came out and all of a sudden all this stuff started happening and everything was fine, bro. So when this happens, a couple times what happens for me you see like how it said my opponent is uh, having issues with his connection? When it tells me that the, the last like few times when I've been streaming and that happened, they actually gave me a loss. But in, in a couple of those cases, I actually lost the connection and didn't realize it that you know all, Verizon reset my router at the wrong time because I was winning both times that it happened. So I didn't know what was gonna happen. So make sure that you don't press the button right away when that screen comes up and take your time. You see how they gave me the win on the bottom right? So that probably was his connection that lagged out. But just be careful to not continuously tap the A or X button because sometimes it, it like it registers wrong and you end up getting a loss. Um, and I stop now, now I'm like calm with it. Um, and I press it like way after and usually I'll end up getting the win. So it worked out for me in this case. Um, like I said, I wanted to show off the Randy Moss. It didn't work out that way. If you guys, you know, like the Saquon gameplay, let me know, write Saquon in the comments. If you want Randy Moss gameplay where I try to focus straight on Randy Moss, you can write Moss in the comments. But I'm gonna try to get you guys a mixture of both and we're gonna try to win this Super Bowl because we got zero Super Bowl wins, dog. Bro, we are garbage when it comes to the playoffs. Like, I keep choking like I'm a Cincinnati Bengal. I gotta stop this, bro. I gotta take us to the next level, and I will. I just need you guys to stick with me. If you're with me, write it in the comments that you're with me, bro, because we're gonna get this done. We gotta get the Super Bowl, man. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead, relax my butt cheeks, and get ready to go back into another game and get you guys some gameplay, whatever you guys choose in the comments. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. Have a good one. One love, y'all.